In this video, we are going to learn how do you write rational numbers between two given numbers. Write five rational numbers between 2 upon 5 and 13 upon 5. Before we get into doing this question, let me recall what is a rational number. A rational number is any number which can be written in the form p upon q, where p and q are integers okay and q is not equal to 0 so you are told that there are two rational numbers 2 upon 5 and 13 upon 15 you have to find out five numbers which lie between these two numbers now normally there are infinite numbers which lie between any two rational numbers okay and to find out five of these numbers what we need to do is first step is you need to convert the given numbers in such a form that their denominators are common okay and for that what we need to do is we need to find out the LCM of the two denominators which is 5 and 15 in our case so if we find out the LCM of 5 and 15 5 times 1 is 5, 5 times 3 is 15, 3, 1, 1, okay? So 3 times 5 or 15 actually is the LCM of these two numbers. The next step, we convert these given fractions in such a form that they can be written with the denominator as 15, okay? So we will multiply this by 3 by 3, why? Because 5 times 3 gives you 15, and 2 times 3 gives you 6. So in other words, 2, 2 by 5 can be written as 6 by 15. Similarly, we need to convert the second number in such a form that the denominator becomes 15. But in this case, this is already 15, right? So what are the numbers that lie between these two given numbers? That's fairly simple. What you need to do is you just need to write down the denominators as 15 for all the numbers which are required to be found or we need 5 so I've just put in 1 2 3 4 5 and the numerator of the numbers which lie between these two has to lie between 6 and 13 so we can write 7 here 8 9 10 11 since we had to find out five numbers I've given five you could have chosen 12 by 15 as well right there is another common method of finding out a rational number between two numbers which is let's say for example once you've converted this into these common thing you can find it out by 6 by 15 plus 13 by 15 divided by 2 right but this is fairly tricky a long method of doing things right but and therefore we avoid doing it at all times we don't need to use this method because it's a long method once you find out you'll get one number then you need to again add these two and continue that way so we use the preferred method which is what we discussed earlier 